one of the things we talked about was ball position. And you can see for Tiger, his ball is closer to his left foot than his right foot. And your ball position is closer to your right foot than left. And that's one of the small changes we made in your setup. One of the important fundamentals of a good putting stroke is what I call swing the handle. Let's watch Tiger demonstrate this fundamental. I've traced the shaft of the putter with a red line, and you will see that he not only moves the putter head back and forth, but also the handle. The pros swing their hands back and forth without being wristy. When Tiger finishes this stroke, his hands are past his left leg. The pros move the putter by swinging their shoulders, arms, and hands as a connected unit. The red triangle outlines the end of the backswing, and the blue triangle outlines the end of the follow-through. Watch how the shoulders rock, and the arms and elbows swing, and the hands swing all a connected unit. Let's now look at your putting stroke and on the left was your practice stroke before you hit the ball and on the right is the, the putting stroke with the ball. I've drawn red lines tracing your left forearm and shaft of the club for both strokes. When you swing the putter correctly these angles should not change too much. Let's first look at the practice stroke. You're going to mark where your left hand is, and you have swung the handle past that left leg. That's very good. Now let's look at that angle now, and you have retained that angle that you started with. So there's good evidence there that you were not wristy. You didn't just flip the putter head past your hands. You swung the entire putter through the ball, handle and, and putter head. So that's a very good stroke. Now let's look at the stroke that you used on the golf ball. You will notice that your left hand will begin to suddenly stop and only the putter head continues. So at this point you have stopped the, the putter and your left hand did not swing as far forward as the other one. And let's look at that angle. And you've increased that angle in the back of your left wrist quite a bit. Uh, 25 degrees. Your putting stroke without a ball, when you're not thinking about hitting anything on the left, is a very good solid shoulder stroke. And on the right, when you're actually hitting the ball, you tend to want to just kind of snap the putter head at the ball with your wrist and your hands. And you're not using that nice shoulder stroke and uh, complete stroke and swing that handle past. So those are some of the things that we worked on. Another important fundamental is to keep your head still throughout the stroke and not turn the head to watch the ball until the stroke is completely over and the putter has stopped moving. I call this fundamental putt, hold, look. At the moment of contact, Tiger has his eyes down to the ball, but watch as he keeps his eyes on the ground and not turn to watch the ball roll away. Eyes are still down, eyes are still down, eyes are still down. Tiger will come to a complete stop before he turns his head. He will hold his posture and spine angle without lifting up. He will hold his putter in the final finishing position without recoiling it back. He will hold still for a moment or two and absorb the feeling of the force he used. And when he does turn his head to watch the ball, he still holds his posture and putter still. He puts the ball, holds still until the stroke is complete, he holds still when he looks. Putt, hold, look. Let's look at your putting stroke again. As soon as you make contact, your eyes are down. But you will immediately start turning your head to watch the ball roll away. And you're putter will recoil a little bit coming back and so what I wanted to uh, work on was the putt hole look. I wanted you to putt the ball, complete the stroke 
and then not turn and look until you have uh, finished that stroke and you're not turning your head while you're still moving the putter. The other thing we talked about was the putting posture. When you set up to putt the ball, you want to try to get your eyes over the ball and you want to get your hands under the shoulders. The red line shows the eyes over the ball and the blue arrow from the shoulders straight down shows that his hands are right underneath his shoulders. And he has a little flex in his knees and he has a little bend in his elbow. So the, the right elbow is on the inside of that blue line. Also, we can see how much he's tilting over. In order to get your eyes over that golf ball, you do have to tilt quite a bit. This is Paula Creamer, eyes over the ball, hands under the shoulders, legs flexed. Lydia Ko, eyes over the ball, hands under the shoulders, legs flexed, uh, tilted quite a bit. In your putting posture, you have your eyes a little bit inside the golf ball, and you have your hands reaching out beyond your shoulders. Uh, I've drawn a circle around your hands, and you can see that your hands are outside that blue line. Whereas in Lydia Ko and the pros, they'll have their hands either right under the arrow or between their legs in that arrow. Uh, the biggest difference is in the spine angle. Uh, I've drawn a red line, which is a, equal to the spine angle that Lydia Ko is in and that Tiger was in, that 50 degree line, that red line. So in order for you to tilt as much as the pros, you would have to tilt uh, so that you matched up to that red line, that red arrow. So that's one of the things that will help you become a better putter is to improve your posture. It's really important to get your eyes over the ball, and it's really important to get your hands underneath your shoulders. Then gravity will help you just swing those hands under your shoulders. On the left is your new posture that we worked on. You can see a big difference. You do have your eyes much closer to the golf ball. I really like the fact that your hands are now under your shoulders. Uh, you've got a nice flex in the knees that helps you get that athletic position. You're tilting a lot more. Not quite as much as the pros, but you're getting much better and closer to that. Uh, we've only worked on your putting stroke for 20 minutes, and uh, we've se I'm starting to see a lot of good changes. So just we're just going to move a few. Yeah, that's, let's go with that right there. I like that a lot. And you're just going to putt, and the, the hard thing for you to do will be the hold part. Putt and hold. Hold your posture. Hold your eyes to the ground, and hold your follow-through. I did the wrist. You did. A little pop stroke. You, and I like the fact that you felt it. It's important to point out that we were working on swinging that handle past your left leg in order to reinforce the feeling of keeping the handle and the putter head moving together. Now, obviously, if you have shorter putts, you, you would not swing that handle as far forward as we did in this practice. So you adjust the swing to the force required. So if if I went back to my right toe, the ball would go so far. If you and I were building a putting machine, we would build three components to that machine. We would design the machine to take the putter back so far. We would design the machine to go through so fast. And we would try to hit it in the sweet spot. And if, if we hit three balls with that machine, with all the dials set the same and no adjustment, the balls would all go the same distance. But what if I wanted to adjust one of the knobs to have it go further. Which knob do I adjust? Do I take a bigger backswing with the same smooth acceleration? Do I have the same backswing but have a faster acceleration? Uh, what do the pros do? You want, I'm going to take this now. I, that last one I took about my toe. I'm going to go a little bit further than my toe, but I'm going to try to have the same smooth acceleration. I like the gravity example that I use. Go a little bit further back. Now I'm going to go really short. It's the same acceleration through. So I adjust the distance by controlling how far back. Right now I'm going to leave your grip alone. Oh, do I went right to it, didn't I? I want your putty stroke to feel brand new. In order to control how far back it goes, you have to control how fast you take it back. So I only want you to have one swing dog, and that is very soft, flat thing. So you're just going to go back to here with soft. Exactly what I want to see here. Soft back is the one thing you have. If you start having that soft back, trust the rest of it. Your job is to control the backswing. Your partner's job is to control the follow through. Good. 
Well, Bobby, in a short amount of time, you made several important changes. One, your ball position got moved closer to the center of the stance and not too close to the right foot. You worked on a little bit better posture, and you swung that handle without being wristy. And also, you kept your eyes down and didn't turn your head until the stroke was complete. Very good. The goal now is to practice this with enough repetition that it becomes natural. Right now, you have to think about it really strongly. Uh, but over time, it'll just be common, natural, and uh, very comfortable to you. And that's the goal. Each time you come to play, I recommend coming a little bit earlier than you used to so that you can practice this. Um, and so the, the more often you practice, the, the more often you'll, define, you'll find out what length stroke makes the ball go certain distances. And so you can start adjusting for s speed and matching the speed to the distance you need to hit a putt. Now, all of our practice was putting uphill, which requires a little bit bigger stroke. Obviously, on this golf course, you're going to have a lot of downhill putts, and you need to have a really small stroke. Uh, the technique, the shape, the posture, and everything else is the same, but your, how much you swing the, the putter is different.